Hello friends. Welcome to Ingenious Technical Academy. Today in this lecture we are going to discuss a question that was asked in Electrical Gate 2017 Set 1. Here is the question. The load shown in the figure is supplied by a 400 volt line to line three phase source. R by P is the sequence given here. The load is balanced and inductive drawing 3464 volt amperes. When the switch S is in the position N, the three volt meters W1, W2 and W3 read 577.35 watt each. If the switch is moved to position Y, the reading of the watt meter in watts will be. So, in this question, we are given a 400 volt three phase source. The 400 volt here is line to line. R by B is the sequence and the load is inductive. Inductive here does not imply that the current is lagging the voltage by 90 degree. The inductive means it, it also consists of a resistive amount. So we have to find out the angle of the current that is lagging from the voltage. In between the source and the load, three watt meters W1, W2 and W3 is connected that are taking their readings. When the switch is connected at N position, the, these watt meters are reading this much of watt. Now, when this switch has been moved from N position to the Y position, we have to find out the readings of these watt meters. So, in, in order to solve this question, we have some basic knowledge of watt meter and some basic knowledge of phasor diagram. So guys, a watt meter consists of a current coil and a potential coil. The potential coil connected, is connected across the load and the current coil is connected through the load. The reading of the watt meter is given by simply the voltage of the potential coil into the current through the current coil and the cosine of the angle between these two quantities VPC and ICC. Now when the switch is at position N, what is happening? The potential coil is connected from R to N. So the, the voltage across this potential coil is VRN. VRN and the current flowing through the current coil is IR into the cos of the angle between these two quantities VRN and IR. Now the angle between these two quantities can be found out by phasor diagram of a three phase. Now the phasor diagram of a three phase consists can be drawn by a reference line VRN. Now as the sequence given here is R by B, so the, vol the voltage VYN lags by angle 120 degree and the voltage VBN lags by angle 240 degree and the load is inductive hence the current lags by VRN by an angle phi, say phi. We have to find out this angle, the angle between VRN and IR. So how we will find this angle? Let us see. The reading of the watt meter W1 is given here 577.35 is equal to VRN into IR into cos of the angle between them. Now, the volt ampere drawn by the load is given 3464 volt amp. So, the volt ampere is equal to 3 into V phase into I phase. From here, V phase into I phase is given by volt ampere by 3, which is equal to 3464 by 3, which implies 1154.6. So the quantity V phase into I phase is equals to now 
1154.6. So from this value, this quantity can be put into the equation 1. So from equation 1, the cost of the angle between VRN into IRN is equal to 577.35 upon V phase into I phase, which is 577.35 upon 1154.6, which is equal to 0.5. Hence, the angle phi is equal to 60 degree. Now, when the switch is moved to position y, the switch is moved to position y, what will be the reading of the watt meter W? 1. V R, the pressure coil of the watt meter 1 is connected from R and y. The pressure coil will read VRY. The current coil will read IR. So IR. The angle between VRY and IR. We have to find this now. Again, this can be found out by the phasor diagram. What is VRY? VRY. So VRY can be written as VRY can be written as VR minus VY. Where is VR, VRN, VRN and minus VY, YN. VRN minus of, so minus of VYN is here. The resultant is VRY, so the resultant is this VRY. Now the angle between VRY and IR, VRY and IR is this angle. We have find already the phi angle is 60 degree and this angle we already know that the line voltage leads the phase voltage by angle 30 degree. So the angle between VRY and IR is 30 degree plus 60 degree. So the angle between uh, this is VRY V R Y into I R cos 30 degree plus 60 degree. Now V R Y is line voltage which is equal to root 3 times of phase voltage into I R cos 90 degree. So cos of 90 degree is 0. So the watt meter 1 will read 0 watt. Now watt meter 2 will read the pressure coil is connected between V Y Y so V Y Y is 0 hence this watt meter again will read 0 watts now what will be read by watt meter 3 V B Y is the pressure coil voltage V B Y and I B is the current to the current coil of the watt meter 3 and the angle between VBY and IB. Now let us draw what is VBY. VBY is nothing but is VBY is equal to VB minus VY, VBN minus VYN and minus yn is vyn and the resultant is this v b y now where is the quantity id id is lagging from vbn by 60 degree 60 degree is here the i b is from is here so 60 degree and this is 30 degree you already know so the angle between VBY and IB, VBY and IB is this, which is 60 degree minus 30 degree. VBY IB cos 60 degree minus 30 degree, which is VBY is nothing but is root 3 into V phase IB cos 30 degree. We already know V phase into IB is this 
1.6 cos 30 is 1 by root 3 by 2 which is equals to 1732 cos so w1 is 0 w2 is 0 w3 is 1732 watts this is the answer of this question thank you guys